Hi designers, welcome back to part two. If you're just finding this video and you've missed part one, go back, watch that one, follow along. I'll show you how to make all of those pieces, all of these OBJ files that we're gonna put into this video. So be sure to watch that one before you join us. But now, let's get going. Okay, now we're in Adobe Dimension and I have a new file open. I just clicked create new and this is the default that it gives me. So from this drop down menu, I always click on 100% zoom so I can see what the canvas size is. And I wanna make it about 2000 pixels wide. I never really have a number. I just always stretch it so that it's larger because I want a high res render. I also come over here to resolution and type in 300 so that I have a really nice crispy render, really nice high quality finished product. I'm gonna start by dragging this box into the center of my canvas here. And I can click on it and click this move to bottom button so that it is sitting on the bottom of the plane. And I'm just gonna assemble this. Um, here is the triangle piece and rename these triangle and box. So now I can select both of these, come to my align tool, and I will center and center. All right, so I'm gonna resize this triangle so that it fits a little bit better. So by the looks, I think it's gonna be the Z value. We'll try it first in 0.12. Yep, it's the Z value. I'm gonna make a little shortcut just to make things easy. So there I have the front and holding shift and using this orbit tool, I'm gonna rotate this around so that I can see the angle from my reference photo. And I'll just name this one side right so I can easily reference this. I wanna move my triangle up a little bit because it needs to meet at the corners so it looks natural. Next, I'm gonna try that inset triangle and you can see that it's not angled, so we need to create that angle by rotating in our triangle, moving it up into place. But now if I go to the render preview, I should be able to see that it looks like it is folded in, which is what we want. With a little more tweaking, I can get this to look really flush and really intentional. All right, now it looks like it's folded. And I think I'm gonna get away with this because I'm only gonna really render the photo at maybe this angle. So that little gap back there, I'm not so worried about it. All right, now I'm gonna add in the handle, rotating it like 75 degrees, getting it into place. I think I need to rotate it 90 degrees. Or yeah, like 15 degrees more. And then if I rotate to this angle, I can see a little bit better. I have it in the center or not. And this I can also see where this inset is. And I can tweak the sizing here. So what if I go to three centimeters? What about 3.6? That's too much, 3.2. And now you can see that that fold won't let any light through and from any angle, you'll be pretty much good. All right, and it does look like my arches are a little too large, so I'm gonna lock the proportions of this one because I want it to scale proportionally. And I'll try 9.8, um, 9.6, 9.2. I think that is going to work. Let me look at all the angles to make sure. I can see it's sticking down a little, so I'm just gonna keep tweaking. Just keep playing with it until it looks convincing to you. I'm gonna add that little special sparkle, those little cardboard cutouts. Here's my dash. I'm gonna bring this in and just adjust until it lines up with the edge and makes it look like it's cardboard. Sometimes it looks good when it's recessed just a little bit so that it kind of looks like a glitch, but it just makes it look more organic. So again, I'm just gonna keep playing with it um, until the placement is good. You can also adjust the thickness. So let me try 0 0.02. Yeah, I'm liking that. Now I'll bring in the dash, just adjusting, moving this to the corner. And I'm gonna hit Command D or Control D 
to copy that one and rotate it 90 degrees so I can put it on each edge. And I'm gonna come here and just copy that for all of the edges. All right, then if I go to my render preview, then I can see how it's looking and I think it's looking fantastic. It's ready for graphics to be applied. So I don't have these graphics exactly, but I did find this little smiley face guy. So I'm going to image trace this file. I'm going to click colors. I'm going to bring it down to two colors and then I'm going to click expand. And from here, I can clean up my little smiley. Now I will add this. I will go export selection, smiley. Now I will just drag and drop the little smiley here that I've saved and I can drag it to the front. And if I click on my front view, it'll help me look and get it centered. And here's the final result. All right, designers, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of the likes, follows, subscribes, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. If you have an idea of a video that you'd like to see next, leave that in the comments. And as always, subscribe. I really, it helps me out and lets you know when my next video is coming out. So thanks and until next time.